Hello my friends, uh, I have made couple of projects which I have added my own uh, handmade flowers like this one. Somebody thinks it look like a camela flower or camila, uh, I'm sorry I'm, if I'm wrong. So these kind of flowers I have made. I'm a cake decorator basically so I love to use making flowers out of fondant. So when I am I started my old hobby scrapbooking and all that so I thought why not I will use uh, my literary uh, cake uh, decorating tools uh, to make the flowers out of paper. But when I saw some of the videos uh, some uh, uh, creative ladies showed the same flower they made, how they made. So I thought, uh, yeah, this idea is already out there. So I cannot say it's my own idea. So still uh, I can show you some of ladies uh, on my blog. They wanted to know how they, how I make, made those flowers. Uh, right now I don't have a foam for to, uh, uh, what you call the smush the uh, this flower's petal. Uh, so I have used my old uh, mouse pad. Actually, in these days you can cannot you uh, you uh, use those mouse pads. So mostly people throw them away. No mouse, no mouse pads. So anyway, I saved the saved one mouse pad, and I thought I will use it as a foam uh, to making my flower, and it works. You know. So see, uh, I'm. Uh, I will just zoom it a little bit, so you can see. Okay, here you go. What I'm doing here, I'm just smudging the petal. So you have to smudge each petal to create a that crumbly like a prima flower, you know. The crumbly uh, edges on the on the petal. So I am just smudging them, and what you need to do, you just need to roll around it like that. So you can get the the curve what you want. This kind of. So you have to make five petals like that so here is a different color look at that uh, if you smudge more you can round it like more then you can get a ball kind of this uh, I'm sorry <laughs> this kind of petal so you basically you have to stick those petals alternate so you can add some more petals down there so and you here is your flower this is really beautiful flower i always love making these flowers and while i am in the carpooling at the school while picking my kids uh, there will be at least 20 to 25 minutes wait waiting period so i go with my punches and papers and i just make those cutouts for my flowers so it will be easy for me to come home and make the flowers whenever I get time and you will need some kind of center if you can close these this middle um, petal that's good enough or if your uh, petal has a little gap like that like I have you don't want to show the deep uh, uh, some kind of gap here so you can put a pearl or you can uh, add a big rhinestones or uh, in the uh, in Christmas time holiday time uh, I can put some uh, small jingle bells so here is your flower and this is my small tutorial for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for stopping by.